Hi folks, uh, uh, almost each uh, SAT test would have uh, one problem that deals with a two-way table and will ask you to calculate some either a probability or a proportion, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, give essentially the idea is you need to figure out what goes into numerator and what goes into denominator and you get the probability they're pretty simple um so obviously easy easier said than done but uh, in fact they are actually not hard at all uh, but the way i'm going to work this is i'm going to solve first two or three problems and the other problems i will only talk through them but i won't write on the screen so in case you feel like uh, trying those other problems without listening to the answers, you could mute the video, try them on your own. The answers are at the very bottom or the very end of the video. So that is one thing you could do. And anyway, most of the time while watching videos, it's helpful for you to actually pause the videos and try the problems on your own uh, rather than listening to the whole thing. But first couple of them I'll solve and that's the easiest way to explain these things. Um, so first let's look at uh, this problem. Before I even read the problem, what do I see? Dreams recalled during one week. So on the top you see dreams recalled during one week. And here I see none, um, one to four, five or more. So each column represents that there's no dreams have been recorded, one to four have been recorded, five or more have been recorded. And on the rows, you have group X and group Y. Since I haven't read the question, well, I don't know what group X and group Y are, but essentially this is a typical two-way table. So you have two variables, one going um, top to bottom, that is different rows, and and also the other variable going from left to right. So the variable here seems to be going left to right or the thing that's forming the columns is the number of dreams. And on the top to bottom are the different groups, whatever those groups are. So let's read the question. The data in the table above were produced by a sleep researcher studying the number of dreams people recall when asked to record their dreams for one week. Group X consisted of 100 people who observed early bedtimes and group Y consisted of 100 people who observed later bedtimes. So that means they were sleeping later than the group X. So if a person is chosen at random from those who recalled at least one dream, what is the probability that the person belongs to group Y? So they're trying to see the differences between uh, the dream recalls of people who sleep early versus people who sleep later. Um, so what goes in the denominator? So let's see if a person is chosen at random from those who recall at least one dream. So all the people that recall at least one dream would fall into our total uh, sample space or the, or the value that's supposed to go into the denominator. So these are all the people that recalled at least one dream. And if a person is chosen at random from those who recalled at least one dream, what is the probability that the person belonged to group Y? So the ones that we are interested in is what's the probability that he belongs to group Y? So what goes into the numerator? So everything that's underlined, 11 and 68. So the denominator would be the total of all these four, um, four entries, 28 plus 57 plus 11 plus 68. So that you can also see, you could just add up the column totals, 39 plus 125 would go into the denominator. So that is 39 plus 125. And on the numerator, you have 11 plus 68. So that is equal to 79 divided by 164. So the C is our answer.
so let me get to C 7964 is the C is the answer so that would be this one so let's go down to the next question I think given the rate at which I am going I am just going to do first two questions and leave the rest to you as exercises so you could uh, you don't even have to mute the video so I just uh, just go through the those problems and you could try them out and check the answers at the end so let's look at the next one so in this case the table above summarizes the results of 200 law school graduates who took the bar exam if one of the surveyed graduates who passed the bar exam is chosen at random from for an interview what is the probability that the person chosen did not take the review course so what goes into the denominator he says if one of the surveyed graduates who passed the bar, bar exam so what goes into the denominator is anyone who passed the bar exam so that is all these people go into our denominator so that would be 18 plus 7 and then they are asking what is the probability that the person chosen did not take the review course so how many did not take the review course 7 of them 7 over this the answer would be 7 over 25 so this would be the right answer now I will show you the other questions So you can try them out so you can pause it here and try them so no point in me keeping it here for a very long time so this is the next one sorry if it is uh, scrolling through fast again as I said go ahead and pause it though all right Oh, ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, sounds good. So this is, I think, the last uh, one. So make sure if you are still working on it, don't uh, pause it here. The answers are coming up pretty soon. Let me see. Uh, there they are so you can move back and forth and compare your answers hopefully this was helpful so if you like it go ahead and subscribe to my channel and uh, if you click on my channel you can see all the other videos that are there so this is a slightly different experiment I'm doing uh, leaving the questions there so I think it's kind of helpful to be able to solve them yourselves so good luck guys and we'll see you in the next video